Hey guys, Wolfie here and welcome back to the channel. As always, the usual disclaimer, any opinion here is mine and mine alone. Now this is a special presentation for Ruby and it is about Winter Schneep, the new Winter Maiden. Now the question comes down to, had Winter been asked about back in volume six, would certain things have been prevented at the end of volume eight? The short answer here is the jury's out because varying factors, both like real life medical stuff and the things in the show, it's just like it's simply like makes it impossible to determine. You have to think about, you know, the height, the weight and like certain other like features of the human body. It's like you can only like lift and carry so much without injuring yourself. And that's personally the biggest one, the biggest factor of them all. But we're going to go into a certain part of volume six where her name could have been brought up at a certain point, but it wasn't. We're going to go into a few characters where it's like they should have been thinking somewhere else and that somewhere else was in fact winter. Now the first character that made a pretty big slip up here is Crow Branwen. Now, the reason why he is a, a pretty surprise, a surprisingly big player in, in all this is that he knew certain things about like the rep remnant as well as like certain parts of like Minstrel is and how it connects to Atlas, but he forgets the name of one particular individual, and that is Winter. And he is somebody he knew. Now, if you guys remember all the way back in Volume 3, he actually had a bit of a friendly spar with Winter. Now, who witnessed this particular spar? It is none other than Ruby Rose and Weiss Schnee. They both witnessed a rather friendly spar, and it was even Rose and Weiss they had a bit of a friendly banter just before that. Meaning that Ruby Rose knew of Winter. How even though none of these guys, although Oscar, you know, we can forgive him because he really didn't start showing up in the show until volume four. And most of these guys, none of them knew about Winter. Crow knew her, Weiss did. And Ruby met Winter, like, through that sparring, sparring match. Now, why? Let's see here. Now, why is Crow a big player? Again, he knew Winter for some time. However, had he mentioned her name, instead of, like, coming up with blanks, may have prevented the next player. And her idea. Now, the next player is none other than Blake Bell Dunn. Now, for those of you who need to know this particular episode, name is called Uncovered. Again, this is Volume 6, Chapter 2. So, basically, it's Blake is a surprisingly key player in all this because it is like after Crow goes on with his, the idea with Argus, the, the trade route with Atlas, Blake's the one who came up with the idea to have Weiss go into Atlas by herself. Now, you have to think about the um, the tone that Blake was using here. And it's, the tone is suggesting that by Weiss going by herself, she's completely off the team. Possibly for good. Now, the idea from Blake had Yang agreeing with it very blindly because of the ma of money involved. Now, you see here, Ren, it's like, he, I think he's like into like, might be into that possibility as well. You know, money being our reason, you know, to turn somebody in. Now, this could allude to the whole thing towards the end of Volume 1, where the whole thing with Weiss mentioning contacting law enforcement about Blake. It's a bit of a karma thing, but it's like, it's really, it's like, it's, the thing is for Weiss's idea back in Volume 1, coming back at her in Volume 6, is that you're talking about an idea that never really goes into fruition. 
Because if Yang's reasonings are kind of selfish right here, which could be support, which is probably supported by Blake's idea. Yeah, we, I think we have some tensions coming up between Yang and Weiss as well. Some resurrecting tensions between Blake and Weiss. Now, I don't think Ren really realizes that at, of like Weiss is being hesitant about the idea because you have to remember this entire scene is that Ruby understood Weiss's concerns. And it's something that if people were to really think about it, Yang and all being for it because of money and but Blake's reasoning is kind of on, a, on the unknown side at this point. It's like they kind of, it's like, it's probably, and I would say probably possibly suggesting that Blake and Yang don't want Weiss on the team anymore. And this would affect Ruby really badly. Due to the simple reason, you know, of certain tensions, and it's just like, they really haven't talked, chatted about much, so it's like, yeah. So for, for Yang, to like be all like, oh, if, if money's involved, it's all good. After choosing not to question Blake's idea, it's like, is it too soon for the team to get back together at this point? And for me, the answer to that part is a resounding yes. Because it's like they really never had a chance to talk things over after the fall of Beacon. Now, um, I'm going to mention here with Ren. Let's see if I have the screenshots. Let's see here. I may or may not. Okay, so this is like, this is before Blake's suggestion shows up. So, Ren brings up a very good point here where... <clears throat> he knows that Alice is completely, like, close off. Now, if you really think about it for a moment, it was like, like, after Ren says this, like, this says the whole thing about, like, the whole thing with Alice, this is where they should have th thought about, okay, what about Winter Schnee? Because I would may have been the one to say, hey, everything's getting closed off. They should have asked about Winter, and they chose not to. Again, the reason why I bring this particular part up is because late, it was pretty late in Volume 8 that Winter had a bit of a confession. She made this confession to Meryl. So the confession from Winter was like, I should have contacted, something along the lines, I'm doing something I shouldn't have done ages ago, and that's contacting Weiss. And with that particular hint, I do feel that had Winter's name been brought up by varying people, had been Ruby and or Weiss, you know, saying, hey, you know, do you know, like, do you know somebody in the military that's not Ironwood? That means if Ruby and, and or Weiss were asked about that, and, or even Crow, they would have brought up Winter Schnee's name. Because... In the, like in the volume three, you could see there's a I forgot which chapter it was, but we do see Winter pacing back and forth. But there's a meeting. I know it's I would Ospin Glinda. You know we're in that room, and Winter was pacing back and forth. <sighs> so, and I knew Crow. I believe Crow was in that in that room as well. So we do know that Crow knew of Winter. Weiss is Winter's younger sister. And Ruby actually saw Winter back in Volume 3. Meaning that Blake and Blake and Crow really screwed this one up for everybody. Crow, he screwed up because he knew the port, but he didn't he never brought up Winter's name. Blake, however, meant hinted at Weiss. But not the correct plan. And for Yang to not question Blake's plan. Kind of goes to show that. This is one of those fates where Team Ruby. Not so much John. But Team Ruby. 
in a way, may have deserved to go into ever after. Although for Jean, the jury is 100% out as to whether or not she could have saved him. Because if you think about the height, like the height, weight, and features of like human beings, no two people are the exact same in virtually every circumstance. Meaning as somebody, you know, that's like, let's say, let's just say they're about 6'2", whatever, but they're really skinny and their weight is light, they may or may not have the difficulty to carry somebody that's even bigger than them over to safety as opposed to somebody that's like, six, I guess I 6'2", 160, but the person they're carrying is about 5'1", 100. So, in conclusion, could, could Winterstein prevented certain things from happening in Volume 9? Not quite. In the sense that it's a, practically impossible to determine. Because while she couldn't save the team, like all of them in Team Ruby, Jean, I mean, she may or may not have had a chance due to the injuries she sustained at the end of Volume 7. So, to wrap this video up, yes, Winter Schnee, yes, she should have been contacted somehow, some way. Crow should have brought up her name back in that particular episode, Volume 6, Chapter 2, Uncovered. Weiss, instead of her being part of a plan that Blake had and Yang agreed to for monetary reasons, she should have been asked, does she know anybody else in the Elysian military that's not Ironwood? And for Winter in late volume 8, to reveal to Marrow that she should have contacted Weiss when she had the opportunity, which was ages ago, it may or may not have prevented them, and by them, T. Ruby to fall into Ever After, and Jean not being unable to make it out alive. And and the, and the and unfortunately, the reason why it's too impossible to determine, in all honesty, is because you have to look at the overall like height, frame, and weight for Jean versus Winter. And that's all I really have for this video. But before I wrap this up, I do, I still am working on um, something for the Bumblebee video. And I do have some information, you know, pertaining to Yang's um, pansexuality that I'm going to reveal in that presentation. I also have one other video. It's going to be after the, the after the, I was going to say chapter something, but it's after the volume nine review. So it's like one of those things, it's like I actually had to get certain things together and it's like for this particular for that particular video it's gonna be like the future of ruby like update and, and that sort of thing because i do feel it's gonna be up to warner brothers to see if we see volume 10 being greenlit but and that's that on that with wolfie here signing off i will catch you all on the flip side <laughs>